Hi everyone, welcome to Con Expo 2020. I'm Diana Henry. Bart DeHaven from Cotto joins me. Thanks so much. Thank you. Let's talk about the battery powered mini excavator. Yes, ma'am, we have two battery powered okay. excavators. Uh, the 9VXB that we came out with about two and a half years ago. Um, it made the top 50 products for um, equipment today. Equipment today, yes, I guess. So, uh, yeah, good little machine. It's uh, 28 inches wide, so it'll go through a 30 inch door, five foot dig depth, and it's got an eight hour run time, so on a single charge. So, a great machine for us right now. And you just debuted another one this spring, right? Yes, ma'am, a 17 VXB. It's a 4,000 pound machine, a dig about seven foot deep, same run time of eight hours. Uh, on a single charge. And the good thing about both those machines is they don't, uh, the batteries themselves have no memory, so you don't lose it. You can charge it if you only run it half the time, you can charge it. And it doesn't gain any memory loss or whatever with the, with the run times. So. You probably get a lot of questions about battery powered machines on the job site and whether they are going to last the full eight hours that you're telling them it's going right, to last. Right, right, they, and they will. They will, you know, it's, it's uh, right now it's, a, I guess, a big learning curve for not only us because the, the contractors are requiring it, the job sites are requiring it, where it comes from, uh, you know, no admissions, but also noise pollution too, we're hearing is a big thing when you're working around a hospital or somewhere like that where the, you know, the machine will be running, creating all that noise. So that's another big thing that we're looking at. And the ROI is there, right? You're, you're proving that with your customers. They are, the ROI is there. Um, it, it's, um, you know, as I guess time goes on and there's more development with the battery technology, it's going to, you know, lower the cost on the machines. Right now they're, you know, they're expensive for some guy to just go out and buy for just one single job. But that's why the rental companies are really doing really well with them because the rental investment is there too. What type of projects would this type of technology um, be suited best for? Interior demolition is where we're seeing probably 85% of them, but we have a lot of rental companies that are renting them to guys that want to work outside, but they don't want the noise. They don't want to deal with the fuel. Um, that, But the in interior demos, where it would be a, a hospital or pharmaceuticals, um, any kind of uh, food preparation to where they don't want any contamination with whatever type product or uh, or their exhaust fumes. They don't want that going on. on a really truck. popular booth here at Con Expo, I'm sure. A lot of questions coming out. A lot out. of questions, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Wonderful. Been very good. Well, thanks so, so much for joining us and yes, sharing this great technology. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. Appreciate it.